Christian Boris. John, here's Aloysius. Welcome to Let's Talk Football, coming from the Swan IC Club. Today we speak with coach Paul Lincoln and president Cos Camilio. So, let's talk football. Christian Boris, John, here's Aloysius for a place in the World Cup. Boris. Welcome back to Let's Talk Football. And with me, I've got coach Paul Lincoln. Paul, can you give us a bit of a history of yourself in coaching as regards your coaching career? Um, well, it's my first uh, year in, in the state league level, but the previous two years I did the under-23s here at the club. And, uh, yeah, that's about all the coaching I've done. And have you found it a big step up coming from the under-23s to the seniors? Uh, yeah, certainly. has been. A, it's a different sort of uh, step up. Um, I thought the, doing the two years under 23s was a good apprenticeship for me, but obviously with the league side, so there's a little bit more pressure. Um, obviously with the reserve side, there's no relegation, so you haven't got that fear. But when you're in the pre- when you're in the Premiership, it's, there's a fear there that uh, you know you could get the club relegated. But uh, we've started well this season, so that looks like uh, we should be right for this year in that respect. I was just going to say, you must be absolutely stoked with the start that you had to the season and basically the way you're carrying on throughout the season. Yeah, it's a full credit to the players. They've been terrific this year. They've really responded well to the way I want them to play. And, um, yeah, it's been a great start. Uh, We've got 15 points, um, which keeps us out of the danger zone. We've got some tough games ahead. There's still a long way to go. But, uh, look, we're looking for improvement from last season, and I think we've, we've showed that this far, and hopefully we can continue that throughout the year. What do you think has been the big change from last season? Because last season you struggled against basically just about every side, whereas this season, well, you picked up your four wins and uh, you're doing really good so what's the, the big difference what have you done that changed the whole psychic of the club around um, well I think I play a different shape to the to Carlo and uh, Michael from last season but really not much is different apart from the shape and the formation that I play but uh, I think we've had a little bit of luck this year I think last year the boys suffered a few injuries we lost a few key players and there was suspension problems we had last season this year I've sort of knuckled down on that area with regards to suspensions and um, um, just sort of changed the game plan I think a little bit and uh, made it a, a, um, a tough environment no one's going to guarantee a spot and I think that might have been the difference from last year to this year Can you tell us who in your opinion have been your standout players I know it's tough asking a coach to do that but yeah. give us a couple of names of the lads that have really performed for you this season Well it's a, it is a tough question look I think every player contributes in their own way um, but s- standout players for me this season has been um, or if I start from uh, Corey Hugo in goals he's had a terrific start to the season um, Aaron Cole's been if not I think he'd be leading the uh, the voting in the uh, in the player of the year because he's had a tremendous season um, uh, in midfield I've had young David Perridge playing really well for us uh, up front Damien scarley has been terrific he's kicked 10 goals t- to date and uh, young Alex Hawkins has been a breath of fresh air the young youngster's only 17 and uh, he plays with lots of uh, vibrance and enthusiasm and works really hard for us but uh, look those are sort of the, the spine I could, I've, I've just mentioned but um, look on any given day, everyone contributes, and that's what we really need, you know, to, to continue the way we're going. We need everyone participating. What would you consider to be your style of football? In other words, what type of football are Swan playing? Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, oh, look, I like the boys to play football. I like the keeper to get it from out and play it outside the back. I don't like the keeper to kick the ball up the park, and it's like aerial ping pong. I want them to play football. You know, I want players to, uh, you know, get forward when they can. Uh, I encourage my front front players to take players on. Um, but most of all, just enjoy it. But, yeah, you know, just play football, play out from the back if we can. And um, at the end of the day, you know, the players really need to work hard. And, um, you know, in the situation we have here with training two nights a week, there's not much really I can do. We don't get a lot of time. We're not full-time players. But at the end of the day, as long as they're enjoying it and working hard for each other, um, I- I'm pretty pleased with that. Where would you hope to finish at the end of the season? I've had that question asked from a few <laughs> few, few people. Um, look, I, I said at the start of the season our focus was to have a good home record. Uh, we haven't lost at home this season, so that's been real positive. Um, I always I said at the start of the season that we're looking for improvement. We wanted to f- improve from last season, which was nine. We wanted to improve on uh, the g- goals we conceded last season, which was 61 against. And we, we've sort of reached our target so far with that respect. But, uh, look, anything above the top six I'd really be pleased with. Would you be hoping to get into that top, this elusive top four that's going to be played at the end of the season? 
I think every coach wants the top four. But look, I'm, I obviously um, I'd love that to happen for the, the club and the players and for myself. Um, look, realistically, we can. Um, and if we did, that's a terrific achievement. But um, I don't like to sort of go that far ahead. But if we finish sixth or better, I'd be happy. Top four would be a terrific effort. Why do you think Fort- Fortress Francis Street is so hard to breach? Well, I don't know. It's, it's a good question. But, uh, that has been a, a real focus to, to really play well at home. And um, we didn't want clubs to come here and just, you know, well, Swan or Easy Beach says three points. We've made this uh, this club it's, uh, a, uh, a sort of a, a fortress. And, you know, so far to date, hopefully it goes well today for us. But uh, that's a good question. I, I don't really know why there's been a change over the last few years. That maybe it's the personnel. Maybe it's um, just the way things are going. But... Uh, at this stage, it's good, and uh, it's a real priority to us to, to do well at home. And would you be hoping that in, say, the couple of years to come, when the new Football West rules come into place, that Francis Street here would retain its current shape? Um, yeah, you would, would, you would think so. You'd like uh, Swan. It's, um, it's, um, it's, yeah, I haven't really given that much thought because I wasn't really aware of that. But, uh, yeah, look, hopefully for the club's sake that they... Uh, you know, I think there's some other clubs like Forestfield and um, maybe they might have a say in the area. But, uh, you know, I'm hoping that the club could maybe, if they needed to do some improvements to the facilities, that uh, we'd be the club that would fit that criteria. And finally, from a personal point of view, what are your hopes as regards your coaching career now? Do you want to go on to further or are you quite happy with Swan? I'm quite happy here at the moment, but obviously you never you never uh, know what can happen in the future. I'm actually a full-time employee for the Commonwealth Bank, so I don't have a lot of time to spend on coaching. But um, look, I just take it a week at a time and uh, you know, hopefully I can do well for the club.